Recording started. Yeah, okay, I'm going to call the meeting to order at 7.03 p.m. We do not have uh, minutes to approve on the agenda. We have two bills to sign. Which brings us to new business. But we have a gentleman here who would probably do we want to take him out of order? Yeah, I would do that. You know, he's not stuck here for that. Would you come up sure. to the seat and sit wherever is fine? Wherever you know, we're not contagious. Oh, yeah. Yes, not a problem. Thank you. Are you contagious? <laughs> hey, I'm Kevin Rudd, the chairman. This is it's Roy. It's Roy Allen Kansas. Nice to meet you. Yes. Okay, and I believe you. I do. Yeah, it's our clerk. And you are? My name is Chris Benari. Chris Benari. Let's see. Benari. 49. Okay. Yeah, I, I understand why you're here, um, but I want you to understand that because Hopedale technically runs the water main on Milford Street. We're right there, Mercy is the pay Okay, so. <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, they want you to dig up the road again and okay. disconnect something. So I'll make it as quick as I can. Yes. We filed. We came. We came. We had a. We have a new water service, a six-inch line and a two-inch line. Right. We had to get the approval from Menden. And once we got the approval from Menden, right. we had to go to Hopedale and get their approval. We got that approved. For a six-inch uh, uh, line for a uh, sprinkler system and a two-inch domestic line. So there, there was an existing one inch line to the property yep. when we bought the property. OK, so the whole area, uh, the state brought a water line down on the main road and designated a bunch of lots because the water was contaminated. Well, actually, we, we brought the land. OK, so the state, the state funded it. The state funded it. So there was a bunch of lots. Our lot was one of the ones that was included in this uh, uh, package. Right. Once they brought the line down, it was never turned on. This is the key point here. It was never turned on by the previous owner okay. or us. Okay. So when we put in the six inch line and the two inch line, we filed the application with the state and we filed for a permit. The state gave us the permit. There was never an obligation to turn off the existing line, nor were we ever told we had to turn that line off until the 11th hour when Scott Lanzetta was out in the street in the ground. Mr. Watson from the town of Oakdale came, up. came by and said, fellas, you realize you have to turn off that line up the street. And Scott said, I'm, I'm, the guy's tapping the line. What do you want me to do right now? It's crazy. I, 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 and it wasn't in the permit that was approved by the state. Okay, so we filled our fulfilled our obligation with the permit with the state. Now, Mr. Watson says we have to turn the one inch line off. So I can just back up here. Yeah. Absolutely. So I want to be clear on this. Mm -hmm. uh, you understand the road, so that would require the state road opening. That. Yes, sir. Um, that's the, they have no jurisdiction over the water system. I, I just so want to, okay. I, so even though you've got a state permit for the road opening, um, but that was on this, but you still want to have to pull a separate permit. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. The, the issue comes down to that until he was finished with the new work. Yeah. Mr. Fenari had no idea he was supposed to run the old line. I did know at the 11th hour. Which was too late. I, I get it. Now, if I knew they wanted it shut off, I go up the street another fifty or seventy-five feet. I do the work there. No question. I'm, I'm not a fool, right? I wouldn't do that. But I guess the real problem here that I have is the, the, the Mr. Watson is saying the water line is ours. It was never turned on ever. Previous owner or ours. How has it become mine? <laughs> 
To it, clarify too, just to, so was the line ever even extended past the curb stop? Do we? I, I think it's on the 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 uh, old line. Like, I don't know what it. Like there's a curb on the property, but it did did it come out in the no, building? No, they, they, they just ended the, the town and the state put it in. Right. There's a stub there. There's a stub in That's the it. That's as far as So how does that? I just need back, to be back, back at the time. What happened is we uh, put the pipe in. The water main. The water main. And we put the water main in the stubs. Yeah. It was then up to each individual property owner at the time, which primarily were homeowners, to run the stub to the house. Connect. The problem we have is. Although that line is physically in the town of Menden, it is under the control of the Oakdale Water Department. Okay. Kev, can you tell me, was yeah. there ever a connection fee paid from the previous owner to that one inch line? That I couldn't tell you because. Not that I know. He never connected. Does it exist? Me. Maybe, but it's he never went out of it. He went out of business. Oakdale at the time. Or the contract. Was it? He went out of business probably within two years of that line going in. Okay. So then Hopedale, did, did Hopedale charge you? Not yet. No. They did not charge you any connection fee. The problem, the problem we have is we have a business in it. Yeah. He's followed the rules. Yeah. He went to us and got permission. He went to Oakdale and got permission. He got the state road opening. He did everything he was supposed to. Yeah. And then <clears throat> Tim Watson came up and said, I want you to do this whole stuff. Yeah. So can I just now, say what you need to understand is we would love to make a, make, wave a magic wand and say you're done. But he does have the right to make you take that out. So let's back up again. Yeah. The rule of thumb is if there's a water line problem, it's the town's it's the town's authority to fix it from the stub to the main. And it's my responsibility to fix it. Curves 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 so if you back up and think about that for a minute, it's still not my responsibility to shut it off. It's still the town of Hopedale's. If it's not the town of Mendes, no, it's it, never turned on either. And it was never turned. How can I be responsible that something that's not mine? Well, here's the thing. The, the service line was put in for your property. Fine. The fact that they made you go back and put in a new line, I, I, I'm with you to a certain degree. Um, it should have been right up front when you were pulling the permit. Yeah, we're going to need you to go back and yes. disconnect that only one inch line. Yes. No question. But the reason why we they, all agree with that. Yeah. There's no question about that. There's a reason why they want that done now. I and realize that. that. And they want that done not on the town side. They want it done. The developers done. And the reason for that, you probably already know, it's a time bomb for us. Yep. Yeah, because it's an old abandoned line on the road, you know, everything wears and breaks, and it could be a potential service leak. But like I said, yeah, the let's, the let's, let's say it blew tomorrow. Yeah. Right? It's still your responsibility to go fix it out the road. It's not mine. It's hope deals. It's not, it, it's hope deals. It's not mine. Yeah. So it's irrelevant whether, you know, they, they have to take responsibility for what their, so, it, that's their line. Uh, well, it's invented. So, it, but what, whoever. Yeah, 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 I get it. It's kept, kept me on the board a lot longer. Yeah, I was on the board with me when it so, got lost tonight. So, Kev. God, yeah, this is complicated. So, because Hope TL is requiring the, the, con, the, the developer to do this, shouldn't he be going before? The town of Oakdale, or at least to their to one of their commissioners' well, case, the police case, because it's really out of our jurisdiction, now, right? Well, it, it is out of our jurisdiction now. However, I mean, I would agree with Mr. Fenaria. Tim should have told them. No question. At the time they granted the permit for the two and the six inch line, you should have been told to remove the one inch line. It should have been in the permit. Correct. Okay, but it wasn't. And so he's trying to come afterwards and tell us I have to do this. Right now, now he was at a meeting a couple of weeks ago, wasn't he? Yeah. Was, he was at a lot. He was. You, you, you were not. I was. Yeah. I, we. So I like to ask a question. Sorry. Obviously, you have a rough idea what it's going to cost to go back and do this. Yeah. Can I ask what that is? Probably fifteen thousand. No. Yeah. When Z is like ten and whatever my permitting with the with the. With my engineers, every time I turn around, it's four or five grand. So I'm just guessing it's fifteen grand. Oh, yeah. that's a 
I also I'm, I'm in need. I, I'm well, in need. Well, Scott, Scott wanted I'm like nine thousand bucks. I also so, want to be very sympathetic after this in the history of the property. Right. Okay. Mr. Finari in town had some lengthy litigation over the business that's going in there, which Mr. Finari, rightfully in my personal opinion, won the case. Yeah. So the issue is we don't want to be seen as being part of anything obstinate because we're not. I understand that. And we're caught in the middle like you are. I understand. So I think the issue to do is maybe we should jointly go to the whole field board with Mr. Finari and say, look, if he wasn't told at the time, you can't go back at the end and suddenly give him another however many thousand dollars it is to do this. I agree. The only thing they've got leverage right now because they won't provide water until it Yeah, but I don't think they can do that. Like, I haven't pushed the limit. I don't want to get attorneys involved and get everybody angry. I, I, I've had enough of that. Right. But they can't. I'm trying to do a project. Oh, okay. Now the damages are going to start to build up if I can't work. What is, so what it is, becomes up. Okay. And then the can't. Is you can't what even what you is your time? Until probably middle of what, March. What is she talking to you for? I, I don't want to tell you. I don't know that. Maybe next year. Okay, the last I looked at it, I saw a shell of the building. Yeah, it's not been in. Well, the outside is almost complete, other than the landscaping. We have to go inside and do all the work. Well, it's your business saying your business won't be open for another year. Yeah, something like okay. that. But, I but I, I, this winter, I wanted to go in and start putting up the walls, start to do plastering, and I need water. Sure, need water. And, and, and I don't think he can actually do that, but I'm trying to be a gentleman. And just, I mean, I need water. I mean, the proper water. Come on. Well, the, the, I have a dumb question. Why don't we just say it's been there for 50, 70 years, whatever, and it's not hurting anything. to leave it the way it is. Because Tim came in, Alan, to meet with us and said that he does not want our building inspector to give an occupancy permit to your building until that's removed. However, I don't think he has the right to say that. You can, I can't, I can't go to a neighboring town and say you can't give an occupancy permit if it meets all the criteria. So where is it written from Hopedale? Where is it written down that he was to remove the one-inch line? It's not. All we have is a verbal from Tim. Did Hopedale issue a water connection? Permit, but there's, there's no fee associated with that permit. They haven't charged me. Do we, just, do we have a copy? I'm sure I have to pay them in you order for me to fly. Well, he didn't know they should be permitted. Well, you're going to have to pay a connection fee. Yeah, so. I understand that. I understand that. And that, that the, well, what, the reason why I asked about the connection fee up front for the one inch line, if there was already a connection fee, there was paid by the previous owner. There was. Okay. It's never. Because I was going to say it should have been well, for, for, for First of all, even if there was a Yeah. Even if there were a connection fee paid 20 years ago, I doubt hope Bill would have a record on it. Yeah. Right. And, and so I also when I was on their system, yeah. I had to beg them for a bill. Yeah. So they're record keeping was yeah. Up the work should have been years ago. And then they tried to claim that I owed them a bill, even though they hadn't sent me one. Which under state law you do all right, right. Yeah. And can I also mention I asked him if I could use that one inch line for an irrigation system to water all the grass and the flowers. The answer was no. I'm not sure why. Then well, I, because of water restrictions. Okay, fine. But then I was I'm gonna put a I have a lot next door at number fifty one. But hold on, I'm gonna hold on, just I, just let me just finish. I'm gonna put a building up there at some point soon. Yeah. Um and I asked them if I could just take that one inch line and go to that building and pay my water bill or whatever. No, everything is no. Very uncooperative. He's not a bad guy. I don't get well, it. Okay, here's, here's you have to understand the district. Is it's, it's not big enough for to have another building? Or you it's, it's a different lot. It's an adjacent lot. It's an adjacent lot. The problem is it's not part of this contract. 
And this is another well, one of these. Well, there's there's one 51 is not on the list. Let, 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 me, let me give the history so you understand. This is complicated. <laughs> Where I think it's still called Native Owners is under 16. Yeah. Was a mobile station. Yeah. The tank leak. Mm -hmm. The tank leak going both ways and it polluted the wells of probably. Well, how many it actually polluted wasn't what we did. What we did was we had about 16 TP houses. And the state rep at the time got an emergency budget item through the state to pay for Maine from the Hopedale town line up to Crush in the drive -in. Later modified by the two boards of selectmen to come back up the hill a little bit. The Hopedale water board at the time did not want to grant the water on the grounds that this would be the first part of a conspiracy by Menden to steal their water <laughs> and get it amended because the 140 section used to come wheeled through Oakdale from Milford. And when Milford Water Company, then private, now part of the town of Milford, cut it off, the DEP made Oakdale pick it up and give it to us. And they've had it ever since. So they believed we were trying to take their water. And people who served on that water board at that time later served on the select board of Hope Field and then again on the water board and carried this forward today. We have these two contracts that are rather blanking. <clears throat> You're caught in the middle. Well, the thing is, sir, many get caught by Hope Field on the water race. Yeah. We, well, no, they don't get filled directly. Because he said 16. Yeah, because of where he's located, but yeah. The and Dudley the, Road people and the 16 people yeah. get billed directly by Hope It's the my end of town, Alan and I ends of town. Yeah. That get the, you know, where we're paying for the Right. right. Uh -huh. You know, of my $220 a quarter, who, who, $170 who, of that is fees to Hope yeah. Who pays the install the mains and stuff originally? Mm -hmm. No, for the water company? Well, it's paid for the state in this area. The 116, the town of Menden paid with a grant from the state. And that was a nightmare because we did it right around this time of the year. We did it in the middle of winter. So the bottom line for this scenario, we're not, we can't do anything right now. It sucks. I feel for you. Well, like I said, you know, I'm trying to be a gentleman with this whole thing. I don't, I, 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 I'm here. Dan was nice enough to talk to you guys and allow me to explain my situation. Yeah. I, I, I would be willing to go with you to Hopedale to say where you know all the permit they gave you did they tell you to close so it. So I can I can One email stop. you all my engineering stuff from the state. There's nothing in there. My my well, yeah, he's look at all the state stuff. But again that's a road opening. Yeah but you gotta understand something. Dan has to have state has to have the water supply. I don't know. Go ahead. What I'm saying to you is um, I said, Dan, um, Tim, Tim has to approve that permit and from the state. And he did. And he did. And now he wants to change the rules after the game started. You, I mean, I'm, I'm here. Be, I'm here to try to work this out. And I, and I hope yeah, we, well, we well, can well, all well, help each other. Well, I'm Mr. Fiore is caught in the middle. I have no problem as an individual member going to a hotel meeting with him and just say, guys, you know, you can't tell him after the fact that he's done all the work. I mean, he's still with the road again. Well, yeah, he brings up a good point too, Kev. If he's got two lines there, yeah, there's a protect and it, and, and it that it's not that old, relatively speaking, in the waterworks industry. Well, it, was, it was installed what in the 90s. Uh, I would say the late 90s. Late 90s. I got the date hang So in the waterworks industry, that's a fairly that's not a well, I was off the board of select. It's, so it's the break or it's the mid to late night. Mr. Watson, Mr. Watson's going to tell you that lot number 51 wasn't one of the approved lots. Well, but and, and I and I here's another question I have if all we have is this stuff, yes, 
They want it disconnected or turn it off. They want the, the disconnected. Disconnected at the same mm -hmm. name. So there's a there's a shut off valve right at the main called okay. operator valve. He wants it just he wants it shut off there and it physically disconnected. What would it cost somebody else to do? I'm gonna say five, five, six thousand bucks. Because they're probably gonna wanna they're gonna wanna mill and overlay a small section of that road from, from curb curb to curb all the way across. Mm -hmm. You probably wanna go a fifty foot width. We have so to get to the road. You need flowable fill. Yeah, you got to have a little bit of fill. You to shut the road down. You got to get. Yeah, so you're going to need a couple of details. It's not. Yeah. And it's it's theoretically, it's 15, 15 grand. And theoretically, it's a state police detail because it's a state highway right there. Wow. Yeah, we did. I needed two last time. The rain the 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 is on the northwest side of the road. The other and side. And on the southeast side of the road. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I would think you're only going to need to. Because you don't have to dig up the entire service. Well, no, just just go down to the main and so dig so you probably I you could probably get by yeah. with a patch from curb to the center line of the road. Yes. You know, maybe a 50 foot wide patch. Not even if they know where it is. All of that is great. Whatever. It's whatever it's what, what states that require. All of that is great, but I think it's still relevant. I just don't think if I knew I had to do it, I would have done the work. Right. Uh, because it's cheaper when you have the guy out there to do it than do it again. Do it once. Right. Now yeah. I got to get the details, everything all lined up. Why not just bang it all on a day? Oh, whatever. But then Tim shows up, so that is in the ground with the tap guy and says, Oh, by the way, you got to go turn that up. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? I mean, come on. I mean, fair is fair. It seems like the sensible thing to do, and I say this. <clears throat> Guardedly, if you find the appropriate map or chart or whatever, and say this this valve should not be turned on ever, it's, it's discontinued, and leave it there. Alan, I think they're worried about it breaking, and I get it. That's exactly like I get it, yeah. but once again, when I go back to what I said, it's always been the town's responsibility to the main. Well, that's a question. Mr. Ferrari does nothing. They're not going to give up. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay. They let him connect. He does nothing. The thing breaks a year from now. What happens? Whose responsibility? Tell them. The way the contract is written, the, the town's responsibility. It says 50-50. You want to make the curb stop. I want to run a hypothetical. Well, it was so originally owned by. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The property owner is not responsible. I want to run a hypothetical. Rising up on the railway. Let's just say we consider him done with all this work. Yeah. Something happens to the valve next summer. The abandoned service. Who's responsible for fixing it? It's either going to be us or Hope Deal. It's not going to be him. Okay. I have a funny feeling if, if it breaks, Hope Deal's going to fix it and kill us. Probably. Either I would take the whole bunch of to fix it. So either we go in and do it. Yeah. I see three scenarios. A, he's done. Okay. B, we go in then and kill it. Or C, Hope Deal goes in and kills it. Is it in the gutter? Is the one in the gutter out there? Yeah, right on the edge. Right on the, edge the other side of the road. Oh, so you're going to get in the pavement a little bit to get out there to expose enough. But the question I have is, let's just say we go, we go to Hopio board and they agree with us that he's satisfied with what they asked him to do. Yeah. Okay. Then the next question is from Tim would be, what happens if this breaks next year? Who pays for it then? I have a funny feeling Pope Deal's going to go in and mend the loss. Yeah, probably because it's amending. Yeah. So I think we just get aggressive with it. But I want to, a couple other things you, you brought up and talked about. You asked them about irrigation. Do they have a bylaw that prohibits connections off their water system for, for irrigation purposes? Right now they do. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that, that answers that question. I didn't know. They, they have irrigation forbidden in Dell right now. Okay. Okay. All right. Nor, so, nor, nor can anybody on so our that's, system. So, so they told you, no, that's legit. Nor can anybody on our system connected to Hope Hill irrigation. be irrigating when Hope Hill says don't. Well, that's a, 
I th I don't know. We'd have to get we are uh, under their run rules water and regs, yeah. but I don't know what they uh, might allow in home. We are under their rules and regs. If they yeah. notify us that there were water, no shows. irrigation yeah. at all. Yeah, they have the right to find our people. And what about this other question about running that yeah, abandoned line or that that partial service to? Another lot. See, I have lot number 51, which is right next door. And that's yeah, and, but I can achieve but, that by combining the lots. The lot is uh but then it, what it, I'm shy on some distances. What are restrictions then on building if you combine the lots? The so problem the problem building. is if you even if you combine the lots, that lot had to be on the contract. Don't be silent. It's the same amount we have a 23 kit road that it's it's lot specific. Yeah. But it would be 49. See, that's the thing. It doesn't just doesn't specify that. If we combine them, it'd still be 49. Now it's right. 49. Now look, I'm not here. Yeah, yeah. That's just not any of that nonsense. Well, no, what's I, wrong with it? Why, why? I just think if you what I also want you to know is, first of all, we understand that this is a nightmare for you. Second of all, this is not another obstacle being thrown up by men to stop your business. That's, I realize that. I, I understand it's okay. okay. That, that's been settled a long time ago. And as I said, my own opinion is you read the one. So who's going to set the meter? It's going to be the town of Mending. No, I hope they don't touch it. So, that's his, so he's got the power of the wrench. That's the, yeah. He's got the power of the wrench. So the what we need wrench, to do, won't set a meter until we need to make Tim right. happy in a way. The only way I know of making Tim happy is one, letting his bosses know he never told them to do that. Well, he's going to tell you he did, but like I said, and Scott Lanza is a friend of mine, and he told us at the 11th hour. He did tell us. Should have been a stipulation of it. Of course, we're going to it. Yeah. it was never right. Well, then guess what? Not yet. Listen, I try to work this out. I've talked with Tim. I've argued with Tim. I appreciate your, your, your wanting to come with me to Hopedale. I think we'll waste our time. He doesn't want to hear anything from anyone, which I think is rather unfair. Sounds like Tim. Okay, so like I said, not a bad guy. I, just not, I, I've known Tim for a long time. Not willing to work with anybody, and I don't know why. He event when I went in in 2008 when we first started this project. Tim Watson looked at me across from the Oakdale Water. He said, "You're never getting water on that property." I said, "Okay," and, and 15 years later, that's fine. I, it is what it is. Yeah. I'm not mad. Has it really been that? Long? 2008. Oh my God. Okay. And then we we were entitled to the water. It was unfair when he treat, they treated us, whatever. And at the end of the day, but now I just feel like he's really pushing us again into a corner. I don't want to fight. I just need water. I'm not I'm not trying to hurt anybody. Mr. Senator, I would put a request that will be for the water commissioners. Yeah. I, I just he is tough, like. Yeah. I've tried. I've called him. I've texted him. Nice. Hey, can I take five minutes of your time? Can we please work this out? Hey, I honestly think you need to go around him and go to the board. Yeah, I do so. He'll still influence them and he'll well, he's got to be, Yeah, his, his version. But. but I mean, the fact of the matter is you have copies of all the written documents. I do. And, and he has it. We forward him to him. He doesn't, doesn't care. Say to take that out. Yeah. You know what he did? He went to the state and he got the permit changed. He went to the state to the to the gentleman that issued us the permit, and he got the guy from the state to say that the lot one inch line needs to be turned off. So you say to me, what's that got to do with anything? Well, the state has influence over shutting that one inch line off, which once again is the responsibility of the town of Hopedale from the curb stop to the main. So how is it mine? It's crazy. I get it. Nobody wants to pay, right? Because that's why I'm here. But let's call a spade a spade. All right, that's so right. And what's right is right. So what do we do as a next step? I think he's, he needs to petition the board of commissioners. Over. Well, we already we already decided at our last meeting that we were going to send you a note saying you got to remove it. Yeah. yeah. But if the circumstances are different, we're not going to do that. So I think it's you need to go to see the Oak Hill Water Board, and you know we need to go tell them we're caught in the middle of this guy. Yeah, we, I, I think we can't make a decision on this guy. I think we we can't. Yeah, it, it, it's all we don't have jurisdiction over that name because of who's Dan? Maybe you know this. Whose line is that? 
Whose line is it from the curb stop to the main? I mean, I can send you the contract. It's well, well I'm not. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. No, 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 I'm scared. Is it? It's it's from my attorney's information. It's all chaos. Period. It's all deal. It, 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 all I know is this: the contract at one point talks about how any future. Hey, where was it? Well, Kevin just said that Hope Deal bills everybody off of Milford Street. When the line went in, here, the yeah. cost, he had all repairs and maintenance required to the water mains are subject to this agreement, including those installed on Route 16, blah, 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 performed by or under the direction of Hope Dale. The cost of all such repairs and maintenance should be divided equally between them and Hope Dale. And that's all it really says. I don't have a problem paying for half of it. But the general understanding has just been that they handle Route 16 and we don't touch it. What happened is the two water boards came to an agreement. The lady who I think you met once in Oakdale, who's now gone, then got elected to the Board of Selectmen. Okay. She then took the deal from the two water boards to the two boards of Selectmen, and they signed the peace treaty that gave everything to Oakdale. <laughs> Which, in my view, is still illegal, but yeah. the hell do I know? Yeah. yeah, and I don't know if it's terribly relevant, but the original design for that piece, which is in his file, and I happened to stumble on a couple of years ago, is that there was going to be a meter pit and all the rest of it Correct. between Hopedale and Menden. That was never done. Because Hopedale decided they wanted to. And I mean, after all, that's $10,000 worth of work or something. But at any rate, even if the contract says it's split 50 50. Let Hope Dale take it out and build us half of it. I don't mind paying for half of that. Just let us use our contractor because we'll. Right. Huh? Does Hope Dale have equipment to do that? Or they, they set no, they contract it out. I don't know if they would. I mean, I would think they do, but my guess is it's simpler to outsource it. I, you know, if we did it, I would my guess, a My guess is Ross will lend bid anybody. Yeah. Okay. You know, but the thing is, you're not going to get a. I mean, the one you catch here. Right now until no. No. Well, it sounds like the state was amenable to maybe just doing this under the existing permit, but obviously things have to be done with all the proper conditions. Yeah, but the state can't. Not, the not now. Yeah. Right. The yes. state can't change the permit after they issue it to them. They did. Oh. That was the email. The only email I saw says something about the state was open to basically extending the permit to go back and do yes. part two. They would let they would let us use the existing but permit I didn't see, to yeah. go back and do that. Uh, disconnection. Because initially we were told this had to go through Menden, and then all of a sudden he wanted a copy of our letter, and then Hopedale just handled it. And 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 for 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 Tim to go and so talk to whoever at the state and to convince him and to change the permit. I, I you know what it's like so crazy the scenario is so your six inch and two inch are probably about. It. No more than two feet of power. Yes, sir. And you tell me the one inch connection is what? Another 50 feet up the road? 50, 75 feet up. Why is it so far? We came in down the driveway, was the access point on our engineer. Oh, room. okay. So we came right off the driveway and down. We would have had to come. Yeah, I mean, we would have done it, but we would have had to come down the sure. street and down. I get it. Into a so at the time, yeah, I can. At the out. time when you went to Hope Deal to get the permit for doing the six inch line and the two inch line, was the one line even brought up at that time? No. No. That's surprising. Because, well, it's a because no. that's what I would have been brought up. Because I, just so you know, I'm, you know, my background, I'm in the water work industry. Okay. I'm in the water district in the uh, suburb. And so for new construction, or even, let, let's say a teardown, there's an existing service, and they want to tear down an old house. It's our requirement. And this is how most towns operate here. It's not just unique to certain towns. They'll require a, a, a contractor and a new developer to go all the way to the water main, even though there's an existing main. Say it's an old line. Yeah, you need to go out there and replace that line because we do it on the end line. And, and it's to their best interest. Sure. They, they want Brandon. a new line because they're going to pull up the house and they don't want to have yeah. any potential problems for your home being there, too. But that, that, the time to flush all that out is during the committee process. And you come in with a set of plans, what you're doing, what are the existing utilities in the property. That was not a mention. That, yeah, I got a problem with that. Yeah. So, and Kevin, I'm with you. I'm, 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 I'm,
I just I, I just want you guys to know that you can we can try whatever you want. Yeah. He that it, it's he's made it really doesn't help. Well, I don't it, know what it, you're gonna get. It seems to me though we owe Tim a response because Tim did want us originally. His request was we tell the building inspector here not to issue an occupancy permit until that's removed. Okay. First of all, that's not under our jurisdiction. We can't tell the building inspector here what to do or not to. No. No. And we don't have the right because we don't know. Could. I think we just sent him a letter that says we've discussed it with Fedora, we've looked at the, the data. I'd like to go back to their board minutes and see if there's anything in there yeah. for when they granted that. But basically say, we don't have the authority to make them take it out. And as far as turning on the water that it's there now, so I continue working, right? Let's let's hypothetically say it was amended responsibility, right? Would you guys allow me to have the water turned? We on? we can't turn it on. Only no, 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 no. Let's say it was a different location in Menden, and this was a situation, and I needed water. Do you do you deprive me of the water? No. You say turn the water on. We'll work this out. Whatever well, we're going to we turn work it off. So. Yeah, so it's it, what he's doing is holding me hostage, right? I mean, I'm not going to use nasty words, but we hostage. <laughs> if you don't turn this on, your project's going to stop. And well, the the well, damages are going to be voluminous. I don't want to go here. I just want to fix the problem. That's all I want. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, if, if this was Bennett's responsibility, we would have required right up front. We needed discontinue that whole service right from the main. Yeah. He wasn't paying attention when the permit yeah. was was yeah. was filled out. Yeah. I, it would That's, have been all done at one sweep. Yeah. No, no, no. But, no, but it was missed. Yeah. Because we could have just said, oh, okay, yeah, right. Up the street, you want me to turn that off? Let's just go up the street, we'll do the work and do it that way. Yeah. Done. We wouldn't be here tonight. But he's trying to backtrack on something he made a mistake on. My suspicion is somebody at Hope Dale called him out on it. And he's trying to back fix it. Yeah. Somebody said, did you do that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, now I gotta do it. There's yeah. nothing in writing. And Scotland's at it and go back a long way. The guy that did the work for me over there, and he said, Chris, you never said a word to me until I was in the hole. And that's when I found out, so I don't like, I don't know what he expected for us to do. So what did you do the connection? Just since one of the two uh, this past year, uh, last oh, one year ago, mm -hmm. about one year ago, it was just before the winter, maybe October or November of 2022. Okay. Yeah, 22. And they told, and, and so he came by and told you when you guys are doing the work. Yep, I wasn't that. there. Scott was there. Okay, and Scott and called. He told me. your contract then. Yeah. And then Tim came to us in like October, November of this year. Just this past year. This past year. Yeah. When I started putting the pressure on, telling them I need water. I'm not turning the one inch line off. I, I don't feel it's my responsibility. Then he started calling you guys. And well, he calls right away, but he did that last meeting. Well, what I think what I think he wants is he wants to see the blinks first. Yeah. And you can make it's 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 out of our jurisdiction. So no, but we can tell tell Oakdale that we have no position in this. Yeah, yeah. But the other thing is, you know, we do pay. We're going to pay taxes now. We're going to be paying taxes in the future. I get it that you were kind of, but you're here, right? I, I'm a taxpayer. I get the water situation, but I mean, I need influence from Menden in order to. Um, Move forward with explaining the whole deal. She says, which is why I think Hopefield needs to be said that we met with Tim, we met with Fenari, and the gist is we're hearing two different things. Hmm. You know, that Tim came after the fact on this one inch line. We don't have a responsibility, if, and according to the contract, if it needs to be removed, we split the cost. Right. Yeah, uh, deep in the back of my head, it's my brain is telling me way back in the little reptilian brain here is a little voice telling me somebody caught him on this, yeah. and he's trying to hang the cost on someone else. Yeah, because he's got the same documents as Dan has. It's right in front of him. He's got that. He's read it. 
right? Tim's read it, and he's not he's not a foolish man. But I but I'm, I do need some help. I mean, like I get it. I know you don't really want to be involved. I totally understand. It's not really your problem. I am a taxpayer. I do have property in Menden. You kind of, we kind of are in this together in a small way. I think at least. He's right. Yeah, I think. Uh, well, can we can we draft a letter? Uh, yeah, I will. We will do it. Well, we do that and get yeah. it. Um, Maybe we want to vote okay. oh, first. Chris. That's right. First and I. F is in Frank. U N A R I. I really appreciate you guys. You have stolen, you have stolen the order of you? No, we sold that a couple of years ago. Okay. Yeah. You're more lockers. Yeah. So uh, people listen so, to you know, yeah, I, I, They don't know what that is. I think uh, maybe we want to have a legal counsel review the letter before we actually issue it. Yeah, we can. I mean, I haven't I had a chance to connect with her yet on this. We can. It might be worth. Let me grab something, get it around tomorrow. Okay, I can send it. To okay. I, I know you guys are busy. Yeah. One last thing, Dan. Is there anything I missed? Because you and I have talked a little bit about this over the over the. I don't think so. Call, right. But Am I pretty think. accurate with everything I've told? Yeah, at tonight? this point, yeah. I don't. I don't see. You know, like you said, I think. It's all like you say. It should have been done as part of the permit. It's part of the permitting permitting process. You know, and now all of a sudden there's all these conditions and it's kind of a crappy situation. And they, you know, how do you fix it now? But I, well, you know, I don't know. I'd be interested to know if this was ever discussed by the Hopedale board. I doubt it was. Um, Which is why I want to go look through their minutes. And they're different than us. They have a, you know, they don't necessarily. You know, he has more autonomy, but maybe it, it needs to appeal to that board to say, all right, this is a dispute. How do we handle this? Right. But, but also, what it remind, reminds me of is I go and sign a contract to buy a new car. I go up to Kevin Meehan, yeah. and I sign a purchase sale that says, you know, I just bought a brand new pickup truck for 60 grand, and I'm giving you 10 grand deposit today, and I'll be back on Monday with 50 grand that I owe you, Yeah. and you're going to do all this. And when I show up, he says, oh, I need another 5,000 to do this. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. The same thing. And my attitude is going to be, uh, it's not in the contract I have. Right. Yeah. So. Not stipulated. Yeah. Give me the car. Here's your fifty grand. No, if you know me, I'll walk away from the deal and go buy it somewhere else. And so, and so, I guess the the last thing is, you know, I I I I, I need I need some help. Yeah. I I know we're all handcuffed. I get that. Um, but. Well, you're not going to be able to get water to the building, even if that service is disabled. You're not going to be able to get water turned on to the building until until you've got climate control on there, until you've got yeah, well, yeah, but we, we can heat the the main the meters that come in. But we're going to build a room and we're going to put heat in it. Yeah. So the we, reason being, you know, the meter. Oh, I get it. No, of course, nobody needs yeah. that. I get it, but I do need it to stop. I get it. You need a flash of rain. And, yeah, what do you need water, right? Life needs water, sure. So I don't know what to do with that because he, he just needs to get into this. Besides, we need a place to have our annual Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> that we never have. Yeah. Yes, you do. So you're going to be open in a year? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, so, so any help you don't need to make a motion for this, right? You got to draft it. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Hello, and everybody's man. Because right. I'm working short hours doing the money. I'll get yeah. it done tomorrow morning. All right. So it's not Mrs. Fenari. It's Fenari. Yes. F. F. Fenari. 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 I got you. Are you from Mendon? I used to live in Mendon. I live in Oxford. Okay. Yeah. You love in Mendon? No, no, I'm from Natick, actually. Oh, I okay. And I made my way out here as everything got hectic yeah. there. I made my way out here. Yeah, now it's getting hectic here. It's not well, well, Let me explain. So I was the town moderator when that bylaw went through. Yeah. What you had was Kevin Cody, formerly owner of the Toyota, three owners ago in Milford. Yeah. Wanted to build a strip club on Route 16. The three little old lady committee of zoning bylaw committee of elderly 
freaked out and rushed a bylaw to the town meeting that year that idiotically named four lots by lot number. Now, I as moderator will tell you when you put a warrant article on that specifies instead of a sum of money, but it says 10 grand, you're only allowed to do like 9,500 to 10,500. You can't go too far. Well, when you name four lots by street address, which the bylaw did, as the only place to allow an adult entertainment zone, as the moderator had to tell everybody, nobody can propose any other location in town. And so you were stuck with those, one of which is a mass electric substation. So now you were down to three. And you had about 30 amendments made at the meeting and eventually passed in dramatically bad sense. <laughs> and then you had the 200 ladies come back in the fall and illegally pass the bylaw that said no alcohol, even though town council stood and said, this will be illegal if you pass it. And then we got into the great multiple years of lawsuits in which Mr. Fnari eventually prevailed because we did something unconstitutional. Gosh. <laughs> uh, no, really people are not... Situation. People acting knee jerk and not following the law. Yeah. And then the then police chief not wanting it next to his then fire station, which is where they were going to move it to. So when he eventually bought the land and applied and everybody went bananas, I actually wrote an essay in the local paper that said, why are you all screaming? We told him we wanted it there. Not only that, when the town approved it at the meeting, there wasn't a single soul at the meeting when it was approved. Correct. But for adult entertainment, there wasn't a butter or anybody in town that showed up. Yeah. Nope. Didn't speak your voice, so the town went ahead. And I didn't buy the property for it. I just, it was there. It's then somebody said, hey, you have it approved that you have a, you can, you can have this at your location. Okay. And then everybody 15 or anything, so yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I can. Yeah, I do. I don't like that. I'm kind of I'm actually, a, I think, I hopefully think I'm a decent guy that doesn't want any trouble and just kind of want to be friends. And right, right. It, it was tough well, because yeah. I had a lot of friends that it wasn't easy. You know, well, easy. I, I've had this argument with marijuana. Yeah, I'm sure you yeah. have. And I, I have three cell facilities within quarter mile of my house, two in Hopedale and one in Mendel. And I tell people, it doesn't matter I want. People put a ballot question on the ballot. Yeah. It passed. Mm -hmm. Then they put it on local ballots. It passed. Then they zoned for it. It passed. How much you can do? So it's the law. Yes, yeah, the law. Okay. Quite honestly, the fact that I had gone to one strip club in my life doesn't mean I might not go someday, but it doesn't mean in my mind that I have a right to tell you no if zoning says you have a right to have it there. So I, look, I look at it that way. It's just too bad it all had to get ugly, that's all. Well, what we want to do is make sure men is not staying ugly. So I'm going to draft the letter, I'll get it to these guys to look at and okay. send it to our thing. But I'm also going to look at their minutes candidly. If I can't find it in their minutes call back in three years, then I question yeah, whether they even know what happened. They post their minutes on the website, right? Yeah. yeah. The most recent minutes are April 13th, 23. Oh, let, let's say let's say that it is in the minutes, which I don't know if it is or isn't. Um, still not in the permit. If it was in the permit, I would have did what the permit told me to do. Did they, did they issue an amendment to the permit? Because you said that he had I, After I've done all the work, uh, a few months ago, I said, hey, I need the water. He said, no way. He called the state himself. I'm not sure the gentleman. I don't know, Dan, if you know it. The guy's name that works for the state that sure. issued the permit. I don't and know. And he got him to agree. I don't know if they're friends or it, they, they, they don't even know each other. I don't did know. they issue an amendment to the road opening today? I think so. 
I don't, don't know that for a fact. The only thing I, don't, I got was this summary from Tim. I don't know if I, I don't know if the engineer has an amendment. So, so but I was told okay. that's what needed to be and, done. And if that was issued, it would have been way after the work had been done. Oh yeah, way after. One year later. One year later. Yeah. But you know, the, the fact the fact of the matter I have is now if he gets his road opening permit in good faith, hires a guy to do the work. Yeah. And knew of this extra thing, he would have staged it all at once. Oh, sure. Because what it might have cost you at the time, another two grand, three grand. It would have been the same, probably the same, right? It's right probably, there. probably the same. And now it's going to cost you another whatever. Yeah. And that's not, to me, that's not right. No. No. That's not, it's not right. It's not fair. Right. None of us, none of us would want to be in that situation, right? Like, we, not, we sent Hopedale a letter in 2015, um, actually signed by Leah, basically says the Water Commission voted at their September 1st, 2015 meeting to seek Hopedale's permission for a connection at 49 Milford Street and fire suppression line. Please notify the commission if their attendance is necessary at Hopedale Water Department meeting to discuss. So you'd think at some point they would have said, hey, there's conditions on this connection. That's, I mean, that's the thing that's frustrating. At some point, Hopedale would have said, hey, this is this thing between Mendon and Hopedale. You know, apparently that never happened. Yeah, nobody looked into it. And they were notified well in advance. I mean, what about this? Why can't you just leave the line there if it if it ever breaks and fix it? You guys can fix it. Well, you're not going to fix it. You're going to disconnect it. Yeah, but you disconnect it then. Like, why does it have to be like a stink now? Just deal with it when it Well, because why? The reason why? They've got leverage over you. Oh, yeah. They got leverage over you. Once, once you get a meter, they they think they, they, on, there's no leverage. They think they they're think. like, we're not going to give you a meter. We're not going to turn around. Right here. Yeah. Who wants dollars? Yeah. And so it's like hardball. And so if you want it, if you want it, if you want the water bad enough, you're going to have to jump to them. That's 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 what they're thinking. So. But yeah, it's not right. You should have been, you should have been formed right out of the gate when they issued the permits. I, I'm, I'm with you on that. In fact, that you weren't. And that's, that's the story. Yeah. And you, and you, my engineers are, are, would be glad to speak with you. The, the story's the same throughout the whole thing. I didn't fill out the permit. My engineers did. And he'll tell you straight up, no, nobody ever mentioned anything about a one inch line, ever. So. The, but, you, but you knew it was there. It, of course it, I did. It wasn't adequate. It, it yeah, was, they they wanted I had to have a two inch line. Yeah. For domestic and a yeah. six inch and the spring. Inch line. So the one inch, you know, did it cross my mind to shut it off? No, I just didn't think it was a an issue. I just figured it, it had been there 25, 30 years. It, well, since the late night. And it's not mine. We never activated it. I never paid a fee. Right. It's not mine. No. So we can keep talking. Thank you very much, everybody. Alan, thank you guys very much. Dan, thank you for setting it up. Really appreciate it, Mr. Rudin. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll stay in touch. Yeah, yeah. Dan will get me what I need. Yeah, this is. If you want to go to Mopedale, I'd be glad to do it. I just I think me and you would be better off watching TV at home. Like he's, I don't know. He's not very friendly. I don't know why. Well, I, I, I think it's going to require. You to go before the commission sure. over there. And okay. Maybe one of us go. I, I wouldn't mind going here. Sure. Sit at those meetings. I think I know one of the commissioners over there, anyways. So, um, but I think you know, because ultimately the authority is going to come from them, not from us. You know, we're going to go back and, and say that. At the end of the day, if you think it's like a five thousand dollar thing, which I think it's more, but that's fine. It's twenty five hundred bucks for Menden and Hopedale, like. It's not going to break anybody. I do. Should you just turn it off? I, mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to spend anybody's money, right? Because I don't want to spend any money. I mean, this all goes away if you think it's five grand. I think it's 15 grand, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't like I use people that just get it done, but maybe this cheaper. I don't know. But for five grand, this goes away. I mean, that's pretty yeah, Scott's a good guy. So. Yeah, no, he just was a browser. It might be a little expensive, but he gets it done. That's what we've used. Browser would do yeah. cheaper, but. Uh, yeah, I get a price on it. Hey, how much it, you know, bring what I want to make. Well, it's. Yeah, I'll you know, disconnect the one inch line from the main. You know, we just be done with it. No fire. <laughs> well, from home, it's easy. I mean, it's easy. Shoot stuff from 140, he does it, he goes home. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, they got a guy, they got a day, nobody's doing anything. He goes up, does it, he's home. It is strange to uh, They'll have to get a new permit and everything, though. That whole deal and engineering, because right now it's under Lanzetta. So he, he's able to go in and open the road, but there'll have to be bonds and all that nonsense. They'll have to start from scratch. The first lot on the north side of the street or northwest side of the street, I think, was a house at one time. It was now just land. But I'm wondering whether there's really a tap for that house that has never been taken out. There are several unconnected stubs I'm aware of. All the way down to the land across from the end zone. I'm not sure if all the these in the 40s. Moved. Well, I don't know about that too, but I don't know if, well, the end zone has fire though. I don't know how that's tapped in, but there's a few lots at the end, houses at the end that never connected as far as I'm aware. Yes, I mean, there's another thing, right? So we can't make those guys turn it off. It's just. Just hope to God we hit water in that house on Providence. <laughs> it's all go away. Water connection now get hooked up to house. Okay. One. This is for you now. guys got work to do. Thank yeah, you for seeing me. I appreciate it. All right. Talk to you later. Have a good night. You too. And uh, let's move on. That's why 25 budget. He and his draft day budget. I don't do it. I think I think a good job, but I don't have any questions for it. I have no questions. Alan, do you have any questions or comments? Other than where the little asterisks go? I fixed that. Okay. I did clean those up. I mean, I'll, I'll... Did you submit this already? So, not yet. So, the general fund budget, I did upload because she wanted numbers, but I told her we were meeting, that we got delayed, but I don't think it's Jody. I don't think she's really dug into it yet, so I told her I'd let her know if anything changed. I mean, the general fund budget is really trivial. The only thing that's iffy, so the contracted services line, I suggested we ask for another 1500. I have no idea what to expect. If this building, we're like this close to getting our final approval, and the million dollar question is how much PFAS testing are they gonna require at 300 bucks a pop? Once that stabilizes, I think we can back off this line, but for right now, Fine. Better off turning. No, I think it's a call. Yeah, it's a good money call. back to the town. Other and then that, this one looks fine. And we did. I don't know if I ever told you this or confirmed this. We did get the fire hydrant line on the town side. I did not realize it because they combined things that somebody played around with things. But we do have it all. We have that thirty-two that we asked for. It's so true. that's good. Yeah. Yeah, what is the bottom line here? The end of time meeting uh, meter with. The that's the Airport. special article money that's for the meter replacement. So there's 10,000 left for that. The individual customer meters. All right. Um, that's a special account that was done before the enterprise existed. So okay. it just sits there. But we replaced the two massive meters. So this is for all this the This is for buying the meters because we're just buying them as we go. This is the last of the home meters. So we paying the labor to do them. Okay. okay. We had COVID, we hit everything, we never got them finished. Right. Hey, speaking of meetings, I don't yeah, no. ask you to talk about the budget, but. But we also have a tight sales on that master meter. I, I have an update on that if you want to do that. Okay, well, you talk that? About that. You don't you that. In terms of the budget, are we okay with Dan submitting? And then, which, so then the enterprise fund, if you want to just look at it, I, yeah. Again, I don't think there's any major changes where we closed at $30,000. Um, I would leave the revenue alone. I, again, I think we overestimated and I think we're creeping up on it. We did not get the Hopedale bills. Um, she said they haven't done the readings yet, so I don't have those numbers, but I knock on wood, I think we're in good shape. Okay. Uh, you know, nothing sticks out to me as a major problem. All the meetings have been normal. The Hopedale bill, well. It's the uh, third bill we're going to get. Yeah, the bills, you're saying the only thing Hopedale was, it's actually the biggest number is for water. So down yeah, the sheet up top, it's one. Yeah. Sheet. So are we overestimating on the revenues? And then so if you, yes, if you look at the green column, the FY25 draft, what, yeah. we're, what we're budgeting is 200, we're, we're budgeting a $5,000 surplus effectively. But I think you're way overinflating the water charges because look at the actuals. Well, that's what I'm saying, but the, I don't want to decrease. Uh, well, this is, okay, it causes, so that's only two quarters in now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so this is what happened in 20, I get you. Okay, okay. in 2022, 
We budgeted 150, we collected 116. Oh no. So actually, Sorry. actually you're conservative with that number. In 21, we budgeted 121, we collected 130. Yeah. So then we jacked it up, but then we only collected 116. We did still close at a profit because we don't right. a lot of our some of our budget expense line is emergency expense, sure. we don't spend it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Then in 23, we went up to 160 because we raised the rates, but we only collected 140 in 23. I get you. In 24, halfway through, we've collected 80. Yeah. So I'm hoping we're close to 160. Um, you are correct. I, it but yeah, it might make sense to drop to 160, but the problem is if we lower our mm -hmm. revenue, the state gets involved. So it's okay. Just being I, well, that, that's conservative, though. No, I'm, I'm with you. I think it's fine. Right. So the, the question is, are we okay with submitting this in the general fund budget? Yes. Alan, are you okay with the budget? We want to make a motion. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, so the final, final bottom line. So we've got 30,000 30, in free cash. We pulled 10,000 into this year's budget that we haven't spent. So that gets us up to 40. Yeah. Next year, uh, you know, so the so called retained earnings, whatever, we're right around $45,000 in emergency funds, which is, Good. you know, a drop in the bucket when you talk about a million, but yeah. at least it's. Okay, but over the three of us are all okay with the budget. I want to make a motion that we submit a budget as a competitor to who's going to submit it to the finance committee? Just, yeah, submit it to the town, whoever. I, yeah, I was making a motion just to approve the budget. Okay. Uh, I made a motion to approve the F125 budget as, as presented. Oops. Alan, do you second? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, all in favor, it's unanimous to three. That also includes the, the, the uh, general fund one as well. Yeah, I just I said budget. Can I put a recommendation for next year? Can you either print these? I know I couldn't. A little by eighteen. I tried, and I need to mess with the focus. So this is eventually going to go. In the, I get to mess with it. I, I gave Alan a bigger one that I managed to get it on two pages. You're right. I get you. Okay. No, okay. I get it. I get it. Um, I get it. Okay. Okay. Right. Next item is the 2023 annual report. What does that do? Um. I think technically it's due the 15th, but it's a soft date, but I will work on that and send it out. I just, there's a lot of financial numbers I get told. Okay. We got, we got a couple months. All right. We did the discussion on 49 yeah, Water Street. Yeah. Any update on the water sewer study? Um, I do not have anything on that from Jack. Um, I, I... Okay. One thing I'd like to find out if we can ask Jack, the governor is pulling back a lot of EMS. Because the state budget is not coming in, and in particular, she's not pulling out operational budget; she's pulling back earmarks. So I just want to see: does that affect any of our water and sewer study money that we haven't spent yet? That's a question, Jack. I will ask him about that. Yeah. Um, I yeah, do make a note of that because you want to find it right away. You know, you want to find it right away. Yeah. Um, and also, nothing, unfortunately. The discussion regarding the contract amendment seems to have stalled out. Yeah. Um, Jack was still trying to connect with the town manager over there, um, but that's the last I've heard. Okay. Do we have anything else that needs to be discussed tonight? So I guess I, I forgot to leave it on the infrastructure. So the deal with Dudley Road, we did go in the pit thanks to Highway, pumped it out. All of the tech is now installed in the meter pit. Unfortunately, it's currently not talking to the meter. So I have to go back and do some more troubleshooting. But of course, now the pit's full of water, and then we had those storms, and I wasn't going to harass John because they were so busy. So it's still in problem. You know, working. Show again. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. And I think the fire department has the pump now. Um, yeah. I did relate to that. I did have a conversation with John Dudley. There may be a request to jointly purchase some. Um, of the proper rescue equipment to enter like confined spaces between us and highway. So I think I told him to come talk just towards the end of the year when we have some potential surpluses. I mean, it was like 2,500 bucks. So if we split it, there would be a good move. That's money well spent. That's right. so we should have, have, have a wedge, should have gas detector, right? And a blower for blowing. Right. It was a whole kit. I, um, yeah. So I think he was going to look into it. Okay. Um, but hopefully I did get the law. Hey, here's the thing. Did we get our insurance from Maya? Yes. Yeah. What do they have? Okay, so Myers, this is something you want to make a note of this. Meyer has uh, every year they have uh, they have grant money purchasing safety equipment and stuff like that. 
Um, I, and I do it every year. And I purchase, I purchase this, this type of equipment through uh, through flying that I get from Maya. So that's a good. I didn't think of that. I'll mention that because that those emails come through. Kept me there. Because I know they were trying to get, they were trying to get it to pay for the locks, but they won't pay for that. But I think that's the stuff. Yeah. They so um, whoever does the insurance for the town. Yeah. Fine. Dave Levante. But I'm saying who's who, who you did. deal with Dave Levante? He's our person. Okay. Yeah. But um, he, he didn't buy my information. He's your so he's a town. I'll ask. I'll, I'll mention the town branch to Maya. Yeah. Because that would be good to have when this yeah. comes up. Mm -hmm. um, he, you know, the thing is. Um, the town may already be taking advantage of that, so you, you know, yeah. want to be mindful of that. Like, no, not necessarily. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, because it, it, it's there for us. So, okay. Is this the one? Is there anything else on the? And what I did just to, for Dudley Road. Um, I did. The, ultimately, the way it's going to work is you'll be able to log in and see all the numbers on the portal. It's just right now. It's just zero, zero, zero. Because oh, you get the things. It's all set. It's linked up. It's just getting so that. The transmitter is transmitting. Oh, so yeah, I didn't tell you. Maybe I didn't tell you some of this. So we were worried about the cellular signal. Yeah. We figured, what the hell? Let's just try it. It actually is connecting through the meter pit, no problem. Good. So you didn't have to run a wire. But John at a conference found a company that makes composite meter lids. Yeah. Unfortunately, W Road's too big, so it's a custom order. But he was going to get us a price because it doesn't weigh half a ton. Yeah. Because yeah. that it sucks. You were there one time. It's horrible. It's really heavy. Oh, it turns out it did. We didn't need to do any of that. Okay. So that's awesome. That's great. That it's just the, it's it's the signal from the meter goes through a device, and that's where it's not going. Yeah, yet. there's a radio transmitter there, so he's probably going to mount it high up in the, in the pit. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all in there. It's just getting the thing to turn on. Okay. Um, and I've been talking to somebody else with high sales. It's just we got to get back in the pit now, and it's up being underwater. Uh, because of all the rain. Okay, you want to make sure that that we're, we're it's trip. all waterproof. Okay, everything. And when left it this weekend? So yeah, well, don't tell me we'll need more. You want to walk in my backyard and see how far the Charles is up? They can ask you how it's going. You should. I had no idea. My neighbors, it's like right on the border of the property. That Springbrook. I was showing Alan the pictures. So so that but anyway that meter pit. So where's all the water coming from? Is so it, from what we can tell, the they drilled no, they drilled a hole in the floor. I think in a misguided attempt so it would drain. This is what Hydrotech told me when they did their placement, and it's coming up. Oh, but we plugged oh. it. We plugged it with like a stick or something, and it, it made a huge difference. Um, you still hydraulic like cement. That's what I'm thinking. If we go back in there, try to patch it. But um, you, you gotta wait for the water table to go down. You can't just do it now. Well, the hydraulic cement will. Because I used it, but it'll work underwater. I should get Yeah, it. but if the water's coming up and it's under pressure, it's just gonna keep screaming. it's not it's not a lot. It, like it especially now with the plug, it was filling up over a period of months. Yeah. I think just this storm, honestly, I think some of it did come into the top from the storm. Yeah. Um, so I was gonna say we should probably get it up some kind of schedule to to pump the thing down. Yeah. I, I don't we don't have the equipment to work something up the highway to pop or something. I don't know, but I mean, that may be something too. I don't know where they stand with pumps if they're, you know, we've got some money. You know, you buy one, you have it on the shelf. Now you've got it for us or for emergencies. Yeah, we should. They've, have got, they've got pumps. I mean, Highway's got one. It was in rough shape. Trust me, everybody's been pumping basement stuff oh, yeah. for the last week. Okay. All right. No, anyway, I got nothing else. Okay. If there's nothing else, our next meeting is right on Thursday, February 1st. Let me just double check that. That might have been an issue. Dan, does that work for you? Um, no, that was. That one's good. I do refer us. It's in March. I'm going to have a conflict. Okay. okay. Hopefully, we will. Uh, All right, good. Hopefully, then you and I will be walking. Yeah. I'm at, so you're not back there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have this. Yeah, I thought it was last week, but I'm kidding. So I just want to take it easy. You sent me home today. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, I go to work. Um, I have my staff. Right oh, oh, God. COVID's running rampant. I, I make it till about 2 o'clock and then I get up from my desk. I, yeah. But we here, we're adjourning. I'll just stop this. We are, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Motion to adjourn the meeting. Okay.